Hey Vols, my name is Jackson Bowling. I'm a lead peer career advisor at the Center for Career Development and Academic Exploration for the Social Media and Marketing team. Today we're going to be giving you some tips on how to guide your social media presence and start building your brand. Hi, my name is Carmen Jones and I'm serving as SGA president this year. I use social media as a student to raise awareness on the socio-political landscape that we are currently in. So you can use social media as a way to engage in positive and socially aware conversations in a respectful and enlightening manner. The first thing you need to know is that you need to show your personality on social media while also posting content that's appropriate and on brand. It's important to keep this in mind because you want to be proud of what you post on social media in the future. Whatever you post will be there pretty much forever, so keep that in mind. As a first year student, it's really important that you understand that with growth and with age comes maturity. And so your social media has to reflect that you're at a point in your life where you're looking for internships, you're looking for jobs, and you're also seeking an education at the state flagship university. So it's very important that your social media reflects the best out of you. Um, anything that's negative or something that might be combative, you should really take a moment to reevaluate if this is something that needs to be on your social media. So I would take your social media um, in high regard and make sure that you make the adjustments as a first year student here at the University of Tennessee. As a journalism major, something I try to keep in mind when I'm on social media is posting appropriate content, but also being mindful of other posts I interact with because that often shows up in the algorithm to other users. I know it seems far away, but one day you are going to want to present yourself professionally to employers. Be mindful of your digital footprint because those posts are there forever. I know we all have those embarrassing Facebook posts from middle school, so keep those in mind whenever you're presenting yourself to employers.